Do not use this video as a substitute for the directions for use. Precondition for the integration of the BioByte corrector is a multiband appliance with a stainless steel arch wire with a minimum size of 17 by 25 in the upper and lower jaws. In the lower jaw, the steel arch wire must have a cinch back to avoid a proclination of the incisors. If using self ligating brackets, the brackets marked should be protected with ligatures to avoid breakage of the clip. In addition, the brackets marked should not be ceramic brackets, as they could break. Here you will see the ideal conditions for successfully using the BioByte corrector. We will now demonstrate the clinical use of the BioByte corrector. The BioByte corrector is distinguished with left and right sides. These are fixing screws for the connecting element. The spacers are required for the adjustment of the BioByte corrector. The screwdriver should be secured with dental floss to avoid aspiration or swallowing. Use the screwdriver to pick up a screw. Please make sure that the screw is secure. Additional aids like wax are not required. The following video sequence is uncut and in real time. We begin with the fixation of the left side. First, the BioByte corrector is fixed in the upper jaw. Slide the screw body on the arch wire from gingival to occlusal. Then you can attach the screw using the screwdriver. The connecting element must not have any contact to the bracket on the first molar. After fixing the maxillary connecting element, the mandibular connecting element must be attached between the canine and the first premolar. Slide the screw body onto the arch wire from gingival to occlusal and then attach the fixing screw. The connecting element should be placed as distal as possible, mesial to the bracket on the first premolar. The connecting element must not have any contact to the canine bracket at all. Fix the other side in the same way. After both sides are fixed, the patient is asked to bite. Make sure that the telescopes are entirely closed. If there is still distal occlusion, the lower jaw can be shifted forward by using the 1.5 millimeter spacers. These spacers can be crimped on the appliance, so the lower jaw can shift into neutral occlusion. 
the spacers are crimped on the thinnest telescope pipe. Fine corrections can be carried out by shifting the connecting element. Thank you for your attention.